We met him earlier this year in the mystic woods of Quail Hollow. Vandercar, Miami's seemingly ageless warlock and sculptor, who left here 13 years ago to live in his own world of sculptured concrete, surrounded by his creations of mysterious molds and statues. People often think this come alive, you know what I mean? They, uh, that's the reason I put it back here in the woods, because people put their hands on it towards dark, and they swear they feel it quivering, coming alive. And now, 13 years later, Vandercar has returned to Miami to sculpt something that should last much longer than you or I, the Arch Creek Park Bridge. The bridge has been here a thousand years. I used to play here back, well, about 1921-22. I used to come here and play on this bridge, you know, so I know the old bridge. Of course, the old bridge spanning Arch Creek in this historic park was very old before it collapsed in 1973, a natural limestone formation that played a key role in settlers' first coming to South Florida. If you went down to Miami in the early time, this was the only way down, either that or boat. You went over the old roads, going down here, went across this bridge, the old trail, the old military trail, everything. Now, to recreate in concrete something as old as time itself is not easy. It means trying to match what only nature can sculpt. That's why Vandercar was hired. I'm trying to simulate the coral rock and make it look real. Now, I'm even using a uh, culture media, uh, buttermilk, to increase the growth of algae, and I'm leaving fern pockets in and planting ferns and all kinds of things. I get through applying this the way I put it on, everything like that. It's good for at least a 1,000 years. By that, the Republicans will probably back in again. Who knows, you know? John Holden, News 4. But it's good for at least a thousand years.